Why do I actually feel like I'm gonna cry? <laughs> I think I feel like my self-confidence and worth has kind of tanked a little bit. I'm actually crying, what the heck? Any kind of healing is not linear and it feel good and then it's gonna get hard again and you gotta push yourself to feel good and at some point it's gonna feel good more times than it feels hard. Uh, I look so crazy right now, but whatever. I don't even know how to start this. Hi guys, hello. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Hannah Dara. We, uh, I don't even know how to start this. I, mean, I feel like I'm not a human being. Like I don't have my makeup on. I feel so, I feel like a naked mole rat right now. Wait, I kind of want to do my makeup. This whole thing is about feeling better. So I'm going to go quickly do my makeup and we're going to come back to this intro. Do you guys ever feel like you're more functional as a human being when you have your face on? Like I feel like I just can like, accomplish more when i have my face on we're gonna dive into this topic that i was talking about earlier for the past two months or so i have been in a depressive like episode i don't really know what is going on it's just like how life has been for me lately to give a little context of the situation i've been out of the country for about six months i came back to basically my day-to-day -day life and it was really weird because during the time that i was gone i was a student and then i graduated i didn't go to my own graduation i couldn't go to my own graduation and now i'm supposed to be looking for work and i'm currently unemployed so some situations that were out of my control my visa had expired i wasn't able to come back into the country i didn't know if i can come back and therefore i didn't know if i could start applying for work and it was like a very lost time for me even though my situation is very specific everyone goes through depressive episodes everyone goes through that hard time and this is just gonna be my way of trying to figure out how to navigate it it's so weird because this is the first time in literally 10 years that i have not had a job I, i've been working since i was 14 i've been working at like grocery stores I've worked as a server, as I've worked at movie theaters. Like it's totally normal in your 20s to be figuring out life or being unemployed and just not really knowing where you're going in life. And that's totally normal and I understand that. But this being my first time experiencing that is very, very difficult for me. And I feel like I've genuinely lost a lot of sense of self. Like I don't know who I am as a... Oh my God, I feel like my voice is shaking. I feel like I'm about to cry. I just did my makeup. I can't cry right now. I don't know where I'm going in life. And it's really like, this is so normal. I know it's normal. Everyone who tells me that their 20s are messy tells me this is normal. And so I'm trying to reassure myself, but so much uncertainty about your future is what makes it really, really difficult. Like my parents have sacrificed so much for me to be here and I'm just sitting in my messy ass room. Like, what do I do? So, who? <sighs> Am I about to cry? Am I gonna cry? Anyways, we are gonna be getting through my depressive episode together. And if you're watching this video, you'll probably feel the same way, which is why you clicked on this video. So just know you're not going through it by yourself. There's some random Korean girl in Canada that is also crying and struggling, and her room is just as messy as yours probably is. But I am genuinely kind of sick of feeling like this. I don't even want to feel sorry for myself. I don't want to pity myself because pitying yourself is genuinely the worst thing you can do. You make excuses for yourself as to why you act this way or that way because you feel bad for yourself and that's the last thing I want I don't want to pity myself we are going to start getting our life together I just need to have some sort of control in my life so let's control what we can right now and what we can control right now is the state of my room as they say your room reflects the state of your mind and this is the state of my mind right now that pile of clothes right behind me that is the state of my mind right now I, although i am embarrassed about showing you the state of my room i want to be as vulnerable and open about it as i can because this really is a realistic state of how i am when i'm going through like a depressive episode i hope you guys can accept my vulnerability and openness about me going through this right now
I woke up at 6 a.m. because I was gonna go to the gym. I woke up and then I looked at my phone and I was like, hmm, I could go, but I don't really feel like going. And now it is a couple hours later and I still wanna go to the gym, but my gym is pretty busy and I don't really like going when there's people there, which is probably why I don't really go that often. I might go for a run outside or I might just work out in my building's gym. like very into lifting and very into the gym. I want to get back into the routine that I had back then. So it's 6.30 in the morning. Normally I'd be at the gym by now, but I woke up a little bit late and I'm going to start getting ready for the gym. I also have to pee really bad. One thing that I do quite a lot is look at photos of myself from when I was 21 and think like, man, I kind of miss that person and miss how disciplined she was. I feel like I kind of lost that sense of self a little bit over the years. I really want to get back to that person because I really do respect the person I was at 21 and I think I just kind of gave up a little bit and all I can do is sit around and like wish but I should take action if I want to be that person again I realized like my behavior in just like wishing I was going to the gym and not doing it was self-sabotaging behavior like if I want that I should go for it I should go push myself I need to challenge myself a little bit and I think I've been living in my comfort zone a little bit too long so we woke up 6 30 low-key this is kind of weird because I'm gonna go to the gym but I kind of want to take a shower I feel a little bit gross right now even though my hair looks great my hair looks amazing right now it's probably gonna be like eight by the time I get there so it's not gonna be the same routine as I want to but this is my first step back into the gym again and I need to be a little bit forgiving to myself I think that's just like what we need during this depressive episode is just like be forgiving to yourself being hard on myself is definitely not what I need I just I need to be forgiving I need, I need to be kind to myself and that's what we're gonna do but let's get ready to go to the gym <laughs> Right now it's 7.24 in the morning and look at how dark it is outside. It looks bright, but I promise you it's actually very dark. And it kind of is like very motivating to like get out and like start your day when it's still so dark out. The sun's not even out yet and you're up and like, you know, you're getting your day started. Like it's a bit of like a motivational boost. It's like both depressing and motivational at the same time. Like why am I awake when the sun's not out yet? But I'm like, hey, I'm awake when the sun's not out yet.
Y'all, you want to see something kind of interesting? I don't know if it's that interesting. I'm about to head out, but I bought new running shoes. These are the Nike Vomeros. But I bought new running shoes literally just for Run Club. Aren't they cute? They're so pretty. I literally threw it in the garage. Sorry. Look at how bright this is. Not have been no, the fastest no, runner, like, but no, she's yeah, the we, coolest, we had fun together. Best dress. And that's why I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I moved to in person. Hello. So for today. I've just been laying in my bed because it's been a very slow slash long day today. I woke up kind of late and the day's just kind of like passing by. I invited some friends over. We might have a little bit of wine. We might just order some pizza. It's been a while since I've caught up with these friends and I forget to like reach out to friends or hang out with people when I'm like kind of going through it. I feel like when I'm sad, I tend to distance myself, which obviously has like a snowballing effect because then I feel more lonely than I feel more sad. One thing that's reminding me how important it is to reach out to your friends is because a couple days ago, one of my other friends and I were talking and she and I got into this conversation about how like the past two weeks were very difficult for us and everyone I knew was really going through it within like the last two weeks of October, I realized how comforting and relieving it feels to be able to like talk all this out with someone, especially someone who understands it. And just having that kind of conversation really relieved a lot of like stress and sadness that I had sitting in my heart. Humans are social creatures, guys. We're meant to have community and it's really important to reach out to those people, especially when you're going through a hard time. We're all struggling. We all don't know what we're doing and we're all just kind of figuring out life. I forgot how nice it is to look forward to something. So I'm really looking forward to hanging out with my friends. My kicks. We're headed to go pick up our pizza because I ordered it to the wrong location. Johan is a scary driver. No, no, not when Hannah's there. Oh, uh, I'm a safe driver. Thank you. But maybe today. <laughs> hey, girly pops. Hey. Hey. Say your prayers, ladies. Holy food. Oh, My face looks so swollen and red right now, but I just had a really good cry. I have not balled my eyes out like this in so long. It actually feels kind of like relieving. It feels so good. Like I just wash my face. Cold water feels so good after you cry. Yesterday, my friends and I were hanging out in our living room. We were all chatting and laughing. We were having like a really great time. And this morning, I just like balled my eyes out. And I think it kind of really shows that like any kind of healing is not linear. And you're gonna have your ups and downs. You're gonna feel good. And then it's gonna get hard again. And you gotta push yourself to feel good. And 
at some point it's gonna feel good more times than it feels hard it's just natural to have low moments like this even during your recovery era i don't really know what i'm gonna do today i think it's just gonna be kind of a self-care day mm. <laughs> 어, <웃음> Why did you cry your eyes out? I just cried my eyes out. I was like, 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 Oh. You feel like it's like you're a loser? Oh. You're a loser, yeah. You need to go through a hard time with pleasure. Eh? What's the matter? You have to respond to it with pleasure. 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 You have to respond to it when you were going through a hard time, you couldn't see the silver lighting. 그러니까 지금도 마찬가지야. 지금도 네가 즐겁게 보내고 그거를 어 파스티브하게 받아들이면 또 나중에 네가 잡 갖고 또 좋은 또 좋은 생활 하게 될때아 그때 내가 그 어려운 시기를 잘 지내와서 나도 어 나도 지금 힘든 거는 힘들게 느끼면서 그냥 이게 좋은 경험이었다라고 생각할 수 있는 부분이 어떤 건가 이렇게 나도 찾고 있어. 그것을 찾으면서 약간 그런 거 보시 보이고 느껴지고 그냥 좀 아쉬운 게 너무 재밌게 놀다가 <웃음> 갑자기 이런 같은 것을 느끼니까 조금 You came from heaven to hell. <웃음> <웃음> 그런 거라고 얘기할 수 있겠다. 이거 is it is 2 days after i had the phone call with my dad and i got my curry I realized a lot of this video, it looks like it's like the middle of the night, like midnight, one in the morning. It's actually only 6.24 in the evening and it's like this pitch black outside. Living in Canada. Since it's been two days, I've been I've been feeling a lot better. When I first started, I actually felt very, very depressed, and very lonely. Every time I did something to make myself feel better, I always said like, I'm proud of myself for doing that. So I'd go to the gym. After I come home from the gym, I would say like, I'm proud of myself for going to the gym. Even if I did like five minutes on the treadmill, I'm proud of myself for even getting out of bed and like going on the train and getting myself all the way to the gym. The fact that I, I brought myself there, that's all that matters. Talking with my parents actually really helps. My parents are like the, the only people that I really don't want to admit that I'm going through something in front of because I don't want them to feel sad on my behalf. I don't think they pity me. I just don't want to break my parents' hearts over something that I'm dealing with. I just feel so much guilt about that, but I shouldn't feel guilty about that. I shouldn't feel guilty about expressing that I'm going through a hard time because if anything, like they love me. They're there to support me and show that they love me. And that's really what you need when you are going through a hard time, just to know that you're loved by the people around you. One thing I really want to mention is during this time, I felt like I didn't really love myself. I didn't have a lot of care or love for myself. I kind of let myself go a little bit, but when you are actively taking steps to try to love yourself, you are already loving yourself. You care enough about yourself to try to make yourself feel better. So you may love yourself more than you realize. 
and that's something that I think is really beautiful and really important to remember. And you don't have to know how to take care of yourself. You really don't. You just have to try. Maybe even look up like what you can do or just go on a walk. One thing my dad says a lot is 시작은 반이다, which means the start is half the finish. So just starting and getting yourself out there and making yourself feel better is all that's important. This is actually my first time kind of putting out a video like this, so hopefully it is received well. While editing this video, I looked back and realized like there are times where I actually was really happy and I got really sad again. I really hope it shows that recovery and healing is not linear. You're always going to have your ups and downs. Every time you have those downs, it's just important to dust yourself off and pick yourself up from right where you left off. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you guys all so much for watching this vlog and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.